So now we're going to look at arithmetic sums, which basically means we're going to take an arithmetic sequence, like we've been looking for, a series of numbers, and we're going to add them all up to get the sum, or the total. Now there's another complicated looking formula, but again, these will be given to you, you just need to know how to use them. You'll notice there's an S at the front, SN, meaning um, sum instead of the term number, and we still have an A, and we still have our n minus 1, and we still have that invisible time sign between, between the d and the bracket there. So this is just saying sn means the sum up to n terms, and n could be 20 terms, 10 terms, so add up the first 5 terms, add up the first 20 terms, whatever it is. n is still the term number, much like before, the nth term, or the term number, a is still the first term in the sequence, n still the ninth, the nth term, and d is still your constant um, difference like we had before, what's being added or subtracted off of each of these because it's an arithmetic sum. So looking at how to find the partial sum, and we say partial because we wouldn't want to add it all the way up to the infinite term because that would just be a super large number potentially, or a super little number. So we just do a partial one up to a certain number of terms, like for instance the 20th term. So here I've been given my sequence and I want to find the sum of the first 20 terms in this sequence. So again to help visualize it so people don't get things confused, sometimes it's helpful to draw this in. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term and they want to find the sum of the first 20 terms. So if I was going to find the sum of the first 6 terms, I would just add them up. 8 plus 11 plus 14 plus 17 plus 20 plus 23. But to get to the first 20 terms, I'd have to write out the next 14 terms and then add them all up, and it can be a bit cumbersome. So this is where the formula comes in to be helpful for us. So to use it, we need to know a, n, and d. So we're going to find our constant difference between the terms, much like we've done several times. So what am I going up in here? Again, 8 plus 3 gets me to 11. If you weren't sure, you could do 11 minus 8 and you would get 3. So here we have that d is equal to 3. a is my first term, so I now know that a is equal to 8, my first term. And I'm going to plug this all into my formula. Um, and the last thing I need to figure out then is going to be the n. So if I start with a formula, you don't have to write it out, but I will just so you can help see what I'm putting where. I know a and d, and the last thing I need to figure out is what n is, and in this case they're telling me exactly what it is. 20 terms, that tells me I need to add up the first 20. I need to go up to what would be up here, term 20. So n is equal to 20, so I'm going to say sum of the first 20 terms because I know n is 20, is going to be equal to 20 divided by 2 times 2 uh, times bracket 2 times a which is 8 plus n which is 20 minus 1 times d which is 3 and close your brackets. Now it's really important that you guys if you're using your calculator you absolutely must put in this time sign here or you need to put brackets around that fraction Otherwise, you'll end up with 20 divided by everything else that you've written, and you'll get the incorrect answer. So don't just watch this and assume you can do it. Actually plug it into your calculator and make sure you get the right result. If not, double check that you've got the appropriate brackets and time signs put in the right spots. So if we times this all out, we should get up to a total of 730. So if we were to add up every single term, 8 plus 11 plus 14, etc., all the way up to the 20th term, you'd get a total of 730. That's what we mean by a partial sum. So between term 1 and 20, if you add them up, you get 730. And again, that 20, we've decided to use it because I've actually asked you to find the, first the sum of the first 20 terms. Okay. So, you can look at one more example. Again, feel free to get started on these if you want, but if you need one more example, watch in. We're going to find the sum of the first 20 terms here again. So 
In this case, the first 20 terms tells me they want n is equal to 20. And my sequence here, remember that I would have numbers like this on top to tell me the term numbers, the n's, and they want me to go all the way out to 20 and add them all up. So my first step here is to find my d. And in this case, I'm going by plus 3. Again, you could do that by 6 minus 3 if you weren't sure. Term 2 to minus term 3 is going to be 3. So that's d is equal to 3. My first term is equal to 3. And my n value here is going to be equal to 20. So plugging that into my formula, the sum of the first 20 terms is going to be equal to 20 divided by 2 times 2 times the first term, in this case, which is a. Remember your formula is n over 2 times bracket 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So 2 times 3, make sure you remember the invisible time sign between the 2 and the a, plus bracket n is 20, because I want the first 20 terms, minus 1 times d in this case, which is 3. Put that all into our calculator. And we get the sum of the first 20 terms here is going to be equal to 630 as the total. So again, if I added up 3, 6, 9, 12, all the way up to the 20th term, I would get a total of 630. So just be extra careful with your formula um, and remembering that you need to definitely put in this time sign. And don't forget the invisible ones between the 2 and the a and the bracket and the d. Those are also going to be crucial for you. Outside of that, you should be able to identify what you can and what you need, your a, d, and n, and then you're away with it.